tonight, Islamophobia. It's become a hot topic after the mass shooting at a gay nightclub in Orlando. That shooter claimed to be a Muslim. And today, an effort in our state to combat Islamophobia and the state lawmaker's Facebook post stirring up some controversy tonight. New Channel 4, Sarah Stewart is live with the story. It's first at six. Sarah? Yeah, guys, today nonprofits from around the state gathered here at the Oklahoma City National Memorial and Museum to learn what their role can be in fighting back against Islamophobia. We've been cursed at, we've been called derogatory names. Nonprofit groups from around the state gathered to learn about Islamophobia and the effects it can have. Perhaps the most hurtful thing that I have ever been told is to go back home. Because to be told to go back home is to be told that you don't belong. The Oklahoma Center for Nonprofits sponsored the workshop and says it was spurred on by the recent shooting at the gay nightclub in Orlando and the subsequent increase in Islamophobic chatter on social media. It creates, first of all, a sense of confusion with people that eventually um, it's fear, it's misunderstanding, and that causes phobia, which eventually, uh, as we've seen in recent events, uh, can lead to violence. One example, this recent post by State Representative Pat Ownby. Ownby shared an article on Facebook that says Islam is not a religion subject to First Amendment protections. It goes on to say the first step in coming to grips with the Islamic threat is to officially declassify Islam as a protected religion in the hearts and minds of Western populations. I think it's very important for him to understand that uh, sharing an article which is biased in nature against the Muslim community can be very offensive and hurtful. Adam Sultani with the Council on American Islamic Relations says he plans to reach out to Representative Ownby and invite him to visit the Islamic Center in his hometown of Ardmore and to meet some of his Muslim constituents. And if he's a representative in our state, he should represent all people. Representative Ownby sent me a statement this afternoon that says he has made a habit of posting commentaries on Facebook, some he agrees with, some he doesn't. He says he would have to study this more before deciding whether he believes that the Muslim religion should not be protected by the Constitution. But he did say, to be clear, in case after case, the U.S. Supreme Court has kept the def definition of religion extremely broad and that it's obvious this religion is and should be constitutionally protected. Reporting live downtown, Sarah Stewart, News Channel 4. All right, Sarah.